and I, I would like to thank by invite. It's my first lecture in English, so some mistakes uh, will can occur, but I, I try to speak clearly and I, I hope uh, you, I hope you enjoy my lecture. Okay. Uh, so I, I prepared uh, a lecture about a specific topic in dynamical systems, and my idea today is motivate you uh, about this this subject, and maybe someone having interested about this area and I I, I hope the, uh, uh, with you talk with me after this this, this talk okay um, well I speak I will talk about symbolic dynamic my approach is I I I initially uh, motivate this this topic, and I I will justify why study uh, symbolic dynamics, and I will present some classes uh, this area. Uh, I will talk about full shifts and shift spaces, and present two kinds of these models that are uh, shifts of finite type and shifts of not finite type. Okay. Uh, when you read a book, the book is organized with texts. This text is organized with words. The words are construed with letters, punctuations, and other symbols. So the idea when you read a book is I, I, I want some type of information. Then the book uh, gives you information with your words. For construct these words, you need an alphabet. These alphabets are symbols, are formed by symbols. So, in symbolic dynamics, the idea is to study its structures are construct with symbols. Okay? Other example is real numbers. A number in their decimal expansion is construed with algorithms 0, 1, 2, until 9. Okay? When you take a number, this number can be gives you information. For example, a length, a, a area, or other kind of measure. Okay. Other example, uh, when you give some information uh, a computer, uh, you, the computer, take this information, codify this information with binary sequences, the sequences are formed with zeros and ones, processing this information and return other kind of information that you hope or not. Uh, the idea here is similar to the previous cases because the information are codified with symbols, zeros and ones, 
and I construct sequences this information. Uh, this sequence produce information. Other example is in the songs. Songs can be understand with a sequence of musical notes. The notes are your symbols and the symbols concatenated uh, produce a specific song. In all examples, the idea is I consider an alphabet of symbols and produce information in, in the, the context uh, with the symbols. In the first, in the book, I produce your words. In the second, I produce numbers or binary se sequence or songs. So, uh, I, I consider here a finite set A and this set A is my set uh, with the symbols. So take uh, a, amount, a finite amount, a finite amount of symbols. This is my set way. This, this set I call, call it alphabet. Okay? The alphabet can be formed by letters or numbers. For example, in the small expansion, my alphabet is the algorithm 0, uh, 1, until 9. And here, in, the, in symbolic dynamics, I want to study sequences formed by a finite set of symbols and consider the objects that are sequences of symbols. But the sequences are infinite. I construct infinite sequences with, with, uh, with symbols that are fixed uh, a priori. Uh, and these sequences give me a inform an information that are uh, interesting. Okay? So, when I consider an alphabet A and construct all collection, collection of symbols, of, of sequences, that it's possible, I have a full shift. The full shift is the set formed by all sequences that it's possible to construct when I consider determinate uh, alphabet. Here, I will work with alphabet 0, 1, power n. That is, I consider only sequences, infinity sequences, formed form with only zeros and ones. Okay? For example, uh, take a sequence 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, This is, uh, these are objects that uh, I will work in this lecture. So, here I will talk about dynamical system. So I need a dynamic. Okay? The standard map in this context is the shift map. This map works uh, at fall. I consider the map sigma defined, defined uh, with my full shape and when applied for example this map in some sequence the idea is I forgot the first element of the sequence. So I consider the sequence 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. When I apply the shift map, the, the map produces the sequence 0, 0, 
I only forget the first element of sequence. Okay? So, uh, for understand better this map, uh, I I talk about some property uh, from it is. Uh, has the shift map period points uh, how how I can construct period points uh, for this map boom uh, well, uh, period points <laughs> uh, are uh, elements of the set that when applied uh, a quantity of amount uh, of of times this map in the point, the point the point return of the same. For example, uh, the demonstration, I have a point S apply shift map have uh, the point sigma x Ap apply I have the point sigma sigma x. I write uh, this, this element f sigma power x and for example I return the original point. This is a period point of period 3. A question. I can produce period points with this map. The idea is like can produce period points of all periods of this application. For example, consider the sequence 0, 0, 0, 0. Only zeros. When apply the shift map, well, what is imagine of this point? The same point. Are you agree? Map zero 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 zero. That is this point a fixed point because the period is one. If consider the point zero one zero one zero one zero one. What is the imagine of the, this point? When apply the shift map, I obtain the point one zero one zero one zero. But when applied again, I obtain the point 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. I have period 2. So this map, it's easy to produce period points of all period. And this map, it's in dynamical system, very, very important because it's a model simple. Sometimes when you study dynamical systems, the model uh, that you work can be very complicated. So, if you can take your model, it's complicated, and pass our model more simple, for example, by a property that I call conjugation, these properties and model my simples are valid, the model more complicated. It's justified uh, with, with certain point the study of this kind of model. It's a model easy to obtain uh, good properties. Okay. Uh, so 
the full shift is collection of the all sequences that I can produce with alphabet. But in some ca cases, uh, I I want to consider some restriction about the sequences. When I consider certain restriction, for example, uh, a set with forbidden blocks, I have a shift spaces. When the shift spaces is closed and invariant, I call it subshift. Closed, it's the same definition of the analysis course. Okay? My students here, that now is okay. Uh, and invariant, the idea is I have a set X when my map is defined up, uh, over this set, I never uh, get out this set. This is not invariant. I need to live here forever. Okay. Uh, examples. The full shift, it's a shift space because the set of forbidden blocks is the empty set. Okay. Other example, consider uh, that I don't want uh, sequences uh, that are one after one. That is, my set of forbidden blocks is the block one one. Only two symbols, two ones. For example, uh, I can can I write here or it's good? Uh, for example, it's the forbidden block. Construct the sequences in the set. I need, I, I, I want uh, this block in my sequences. So I consider zero, 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 zero. When I put one, I want put other one in sequence. In the term, in the following term, and I. Want put all other zero. Okay? This shift space is called golden mean shift because it's related with the golden mean number. Okay? Other example it's the even shift when I consider that my sequences uh, can't uh, amount of zeros even. Okay? For example, I consider this sequence one, one, when I put zeros, I need to, to uh, see uh, the amount of zeros, it's even or odd. Because, see, the amount is even, uh, as in the example, I, here I have uh, five zeros, I need put more one zero. When I put more one zero, I, I, uh, I can put one. Okay? 
Understand? Okay. Uh, is there difference between uh, golden mean shift and even shift? Bom, well, <laughs> the, I, uh, the difference between these sets, these shift spaces, is in the golden mean shift, I have one forbidden block. That is, the amount of bo uh, forbidden blocks is finite. But in the even shift, I have an infinite set of forbidden blocks. So the golden mean shift is a shift of finite type and the even shift is a shift of not finite type. It's the difference. E and is the definition of these classes. I call shift of finite type when the set of forbidden blocks is finite. If the set is infinite, I call Shift of not, not finite type. Right? Uh, okay. Properties of shift of finite type. Uh, the idea this this kind of uh, shift space is a class more simple because it has properties a lot. Okay? It's easy to describe this class because all shift of finite type has associated a adjacency matrix. So for this it's possible to associate this kind of shift space with a graph. And the properties of this graph produce properties of the shift space. For this, this class is all understand. I can uh, talk all properties that it's possible. Okay? For example, the golden mean the golden mean is associated a matrix of adjacency that don't uh, uh, that forbidden this block. So the matrix is one, 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 zero. When I put one in the entry, the idea is the transition of symbols is allowed. When I put zero, the transi transition of symbols is forbidden. Here, I have the graph that zero, the transition zero is at zero, it's allowed. Zero at one. One at zero. But one one, it's forbidden. Okay. And I use the properties of graph for conclude information or properties for the shift spaces. The most important property is the topological entropy. Okay? Topological entropy is a measure of chaoticity of my system. And for uh, and to uh, go the mean, the topological entropy is logarithm at 1 plus square 5 uh, 
way to two. This is the golden number. For this, this model has the name golden mean shift because your topological entropy is associated with golden mean number. Okay? Well, when you study the symbolic dynamic, you construct a shift space. And this space, it's a shift of finite, shift of finite type. Uh, it's a bet. Because you not produce a new model. But when you produce a shift of finite type, the idea is that uh, this model can be a new model. I present here um, uh, a frequency shift. Uh, the idea of this model is I am in a full shift uh, 0, 1 power n and when I have a zero, I, the transitions of zero and one are free. I, I decide when I have one zero, if I put uh, other zero or other one, it's free this kind of transition. But when I have one, I can put zero if the density of ones is bigger than P, P underline C on the uh, where this number it's a real number that belongs to the interval 0, 1 and I, I previous fix this number and this number it's associated of density of ones and this number allowed the transition when I have one I put other one if the density of ones is smaller or equal than PC. For example, what is this density of ones? Consider this sequence. I put zero, zero, one. Zero always free. I can put zero, I can put one. But here I put one. What is the density of ones? I I see the amount of ones. I see the <coughs> length of this block. In this case, the density of ones is 1 over 3. I have 1, 1, 1 in 3 symbols. If consider the parameter PC as half, the density is 1 smaller than my parameter. For this, I need to put other one. Again, one. What is density of ones now? I have two ones in four symbols. The density is half. It's the same of my parameter. 
by rules, I need put order one. Now uh, uh, I have one. The density of ones now is three over five. Its number is bigger than half. That's my parameter. So I need put zero. Now are free. Can put zero, zero, zero. When I put one, I need repeat the process. Okay? So it's possible to prove uh, that when I take the parameter as zero, this shift space is the golden mean shift. Moreover, when I take the parameter S1, it's possible to prove that shift space is also a shape of finite type that forbidden the block 1, 0. But when the parameter is belongs to interval 0, 1, open, this model is a shift of not, not finite time. It's my work, Mark. Uh, so, moreover, it's frequency shift, it's not invariant. So, it's necessary to define a structure more complex that is. Uh, Sigma P, I consider a cut of imagines uh, over the shift map, shift map uh, over the frequency shift and closed, have the closed set. And this model is a shift of not finite type and it's a invariant shift space. Okay? But it's more a complicated model. Um, the idea to prove this result is uh, it's difficult comment here because it's very work it's uh, how oh, counts a lot so so it's not time today but uh, I I conclude this work with Professor Alexandre he, in two two weeks this professor uh, will stay here and Jornada, Matemática, Buri Aplicada. And you will can uh, see a lecture of this professor and there and, and there it, uh, he will talk about symbolic dynamics. It's a good opportunity because the professor uh, Alexandre it's a important uh, person in dynamical systems in Brazil. Okay? Uh, my references uh, thanks for, for this. And some questions or I hope. Okay.
in the computer as uh, is produced with sequences uh, with zeros and ones, the idea is understand uh, a pointwise map with sequences, uh, uh, but in the computer, the sequences it, is it's finite. But I can produce infinite sequences, uh, taking for for example, uh, if I take the sequences, the finite, finite sequences, I can consider from the sequences a uh, infinite sequences, put infinite zeros. I have an object of a whole shift of a shift space and I can study these this sequences with math properties. Okay. So the computer uses this uh, this math, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To process information. Yes. Uh, there is uh, other theory uh, that are uh, and, and uh, measure ent measure entropy. It's related with topological entropy because uh, it was construed. Uh, inspired with information theory uh, as a uh, research of the area of computer define this 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 tool and math mathematics is study with this kind of model so it's related with with this area Any other questions? And, and uh, other use, it's in the process, uh, context uh, I, I commented uh, before, uh, that is, do you have a dynamical system very complex? I can't study this model, but this model it's related with shift map in a, a over shift space. This relation with a, a property uh, called uh, conjugation, and I can obtain properties of my model by properties of the shift applied over shift space. It's a context approach more and more easy. It's a, it's a use. So, you were talking about symbolic uh, dynamics. So, what would be non symbolic? specific area uh, your question is about uh, there is other models in dynamical systems or not? What would be non-symbolic then? It's because uh, well, the shift is a very common example. Uh, so is there anything non-symbolic? Non-symbolic? Uh, example? For example, the logistic map? The what? Logistic map? Yeah. It's a dynamical system, but not di not symbolic, because it's defined in, in a continuum set. For example, the map f over interval zero one. system and it's a simple 
equation, but the point-wise of dynamical system or, applica or applications in other areas, uh, the degree of complexity of this model is high, high. Because it's a very difficult model to understand completely. Different of the shift space. It's more easy in much higher cases to understand the, the behavior. It's an other example. Uh, if you have more questions about this model, uh, you can to talk with Rafael, my, my student, that, that uh, presented this model in Najat, in the Jat. He no. No. Paula has also studied uh, other persons. <laughs> yeah, I, I would ask you about the word map because you said that this is a map. And is it related to, to different equations or how do you define a map in dynamical systems? Is there a general definition or... Because I, I knew a map as a different equation. Mm -hmm. And here it seems it's a different object or, you know, the standard map is the shift in this context. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes, so I, I, it's very difficult uh, to see other other definitions. Uh, well, uh, if you consider uh, sequences B infinite, for example, I can put num numbers in. Uh, in the two sides. Mm -hmm. okay. Here, the map is it's a little different because I, I can't forget uh, an, an element. But the idea here is consider a central term, and when I I apply the shift map, I shift the central term for the right. Or for the left. I I I know this 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 two kinds of definition only. Any other questions? Just to be clear, so that model right there, it is not a symbolic system. No, no. Uh, not. It's possible to, to construct uh, models over the natural sets or integers or integers uh, times integers. So, so there is, but uh, it's very, very it's complicated and but when you take a shift of an eye type, you can uh, associate it uh, an agency matrix, but the matrix has uh, infinity entries. But it's possible to define. But in this context, uh, if you have shift of not finite type, it's Don't know what 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 uh, what that. It's it's very deep. So the set of symbols has to be countable. Sorry. The set of symbols has to be countable. Yes, yes, countable. Yes. Not can be. <laughs> uh, I I I already seen uh, defined in. Interval zero one uh, 
uh, eleven. Uh, the professor Eric. Uh, there is a lecture of Professor Eric. In this moment, uh, he talked about uh, the shift map over this, this set. But in the set, the, 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 the tools uh, needs uh, a primorator. Because in this, in this case, for example, the topological entropy is infinite. So I need others, others tools to work with these points. But uh, it's possible. Your questions? Yeah. Okay, let's thank Alex again. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming. Um, the next uh, seminar series will be on how many Camilla, please? <laughs> December, December the 6th. I think December the 6th, no, and uh, it will be given by Professor Patricia Klaas. I hope to see you all again here. Thank you. Thank you.